guys welcome back so today we are going to be using some of the items from the new wet and wilds fire and ice dragon collection and when i say some of the items i mean i've got four and i'm completely like hiding one of them i've got four of the items here i was stalking the website all morning thursday morning waiting for this collection to drop and I am so mad at myself because basically since I was on the main Wet n Wild page instead of clicking the icon that said new, I missed out on the moment and actually went live and by the time I actually started clicking around to check, most of the stuff was sold out. I was kind of devastated by it. I saw the entire box collection and I wasn't really into it because I noticed that most of the stuff that was in the box collection for $40. I wasn't going to use about 90% of it. There were probably only three things I really wanted that was in the box collection. So my thoughts were to just go and buy what I wanted individually. And by the time I started clicking on the individual items, a lot of the stuff I wanted specifically was sold out. I was able to get the eyeshadow quad in dragon scales, which I thought looked really, really gorgeous. So I'm glad I actually got my hands on this one. I also wanted the one that kind of had like the dark red color in it. I forget the name of it, but that one was already sold out. Um, I managed to pick up the bronzer in Bronze Dynasty. I really wanted the one that was called Dragon Me Down, but sold out so I was able to pick this one up which I think I can make work um, just using a light hand so we'll see and what I especially wanted so I'm glad I was able to get them was the two brushes so I have here this is the bronzer brush and this is from the fire dragon collection and then here I have the highlighting brush from the ice dragon collection I really like wet and wild brushes a lot I do have their set of the pro from the pro brush line I do have the entire collection here excuse the fact that some of them are a little dirty at the moment um, but yeah and I do have to clean them too so I do have the pro brush line I love them a lot I, I think the only one I really don't use quite often is the um, the uh, contour brush because that's just a little too like straight edge for me so I don't really use that one very often um, but otherwise all the rest of them I love I think they're amazing they're some of my favorite brushes so I do use those quite often and their highlighter brush from the pro brush line is my favorite highlighting brush or one of my favorite brushes so it'll be interesting to see how this one does because it's a distinctly different shape and size from the one I already use uh, so really quickly let me just open up these brushes and let's see what these suckers look like so here is the bronzer brush I feel hmm. I don't know if it's just me I kind of feel like these are a little weightier not by much but they feel a little weightier than these do these feel more hollow and plasticky but it's more about how the brush hairs Ooh, okay that is nice and soft Ooh, I don't even know why I'm surprised because I've been in love with those brushes with the pro line brushes and this is so incredibly soft okay so let's quickly open up the highlighter brush and see Oh, that's also incredibly so not as loose or fluffy as the other highlighting brush that I use so like I said interesting to see how this one performs but anywho um all right so I am going to crack these suckers open and then uh, let you see me applying them and then we'll come back with some final thoughts so let's get started enough rambling and let's get into the application of these things
Okay, so as far as my thoughts on everything, I never really have a problem with Wet n Wild. <laughs> These aligners are gonna kill me. I never really have a problem with what? I never really have a problem with Wet n Wild products. I always love them. Their eyeshadows, in case you've never used them before, from the quads to the bigger sets that they have to the singles, are always really good quality. You'll always get good payoff. If you want to especially punch up the color, just do what I did. Um, take some concealer, um, use that as a primer or a base, and put the shadows on top, and they would truly pop with the colors that they're meant to be. So I'm really glad that I got my hands on at least one of the quads that I really wanted because I love it. I love the way it came out. I love the colors. I love the way they look. Um, even though I did a super dramatic look today, uh, I think it's something very natural that you actually could use daily. You could even use it for work or anything like that. The colors are muted enough that you could make it work and it would still look gorgeous or just use the more um pale colors in there and you could get a natural everyday look going on the bronzer i didn't think this would be a color that was good for me it looks a lot darker in the pan than it does when it's on your skin you really do have to build it up but that's something that i personally like because i don't like when you put on a product that is too pigmented right away because then it can be very easily um come out looking heavy-handed and you don't want that i like the fact that you have to build it up i love this brush it is fluffy enough that it helps really disperse the product and spread it out evenly so that it doesn't look um, stripey wherever you put it and you can kind of just quickly brush it all over and get a good quick look going. One more thing about the bronzer. It seemed like there was a sheen to it. It might just be an overspray. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure if it's trying to be like the um, physician's formula a little bit where the bronzer kind of has like a very um, almost undetectable sheen to it but it looks kind of sheeny on my forehead but where I used it as like a slight contour and to bronze my cheeks I don't really get that so mm, give or take but i still really like the bronzer a lot i just wanted to point that out and make note of that i also really did like the highlight brush i didn't think i would i was kind of skeptical about it because like i said my original favorite highlighter brush from wet n wild looks like this one here well it is this one here so you can see the difference in how they look the cut the shape you know everything and this one the newer one from the dragon collection seems a little thicker and denser whereas this one is super fluffy um not dense at all and i like them both equally like i think they both did fantastic jobs and again i am a sucker for packaging i am you know a, a sucker for the sets and things like that especially this one i'm a huge game of thrones fan i'm pretty sure anyone who is a game of thrones fan even if you're not even if you just like dragons and mystical things and fantastical beasts like that something like this would most likely catch your eye as well so I was definitely excited to add this brush to my collection and already knowing that I love wet and wild brushes um, they really have made some amazing brushes if you haven't tried any from the pro line give it a shot they really do have some great brushes so I like this one a lot as well and I would be more than happy to be adding it to my collection um, I'm so sad, again, that I couldn't get my hands on more of the collection. Uh, I don't have a Walgreens anywhere near me, but my understanding is there is a lot from the collection that will be available at Walgreens exclusively, so I have to make it my business to try and find a Walgreens as soon as possible and see what other pieces from the collection I can get my hands on. But there you have it. This is the look I put together today. This is how everything worked out. I skipped out on blush because I wanted to just keep the focus on the items that I was able to use so the bronzer I really wanted to just stand out and I probably would have skipped out on highlighter but I really wanted to use the brush so I threw in the highlighter as well and although I wasn't able to get my hands on a highlighter from the collection I did go into the TARDIS Pro Glow, <laughs> the TARDIS Pro Glow palette and I used the color fire from there you know i'm trying to stick with a the theme here so anyway that's all that I have for you today if you have any further questions about the products that I use that I haven't answered already, please feel free to ask them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. If you haven't already, please comment, rate, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You all have an amazing rest of the week and wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.